In a major reversal, the Big Ten Conference, that includes Rutgers University, will play football this fall. Campus leaders backtracked on their decision to postpone the 2020 season due to coronavirus concerns. Kickoff is set for October 24th, so why the change of heart and what does it mean for the fans? Keith Sargent is the Rutgers beat reporter for NJ Advance Media and joins me to explain. Keith, fans were hoping for this. Why the big change in decision? I think you have to kind of date back to uh, August 11th when they made the, the decision. At that time, there was a lot of unknowns. Uh, uh, you know, we were talking about in the summer where uh, not necessarily New Jersey, but nationwide, especially in the states down south and a lot of states in the Midwest, their numbers were, were spiking. There were a lot of unknowns with, you know, medical uh, issues as far as uh, the impact of, of players who actually had COVID, what the long-term effects were going to be, the heart issues that, that, that surrounded it. There was one player from Indiana whose mom uh, talked about um, ha having, uh, you know, a heart uh, 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 effect, a defect as a result of it. Uh, you saw a number of schools, including Rutgers, uh, you know, have some pretty serious outbreaks. At that time in early August, there was a lot of unknowns. Since that time, we're talking about about six weeks, there's been some uh, advancements, particularly in the field of testing. A lot of schools are confident at this point that they're going to be able to do daily rapid testing, and that's going to be a big factor. I mean, I know this decision is just hours old, but what do we know about the schedule, and could we potentially see another cancellation or another postponement? I think absolutely. Uh, for now, we're going to see uh, schools uh, – uh, probably playing a schedule of eight regular season games and then uh, plus one. What that means is um, on December 19th, the weekend, the, the two teams that finished first place in the Big Ten East and West divisions would play for the Big Ten championship. And then the other schools would, 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 would play in constellation games. As far as cancellations, I thought it was interesting that the, the uh, Rutgers University issued a statement and they, they flat out said that cancellations or suspensions of games are, are uh, distinct possibilities if the number of cases, not just at Rutgers, but you know, they're opposing schools. So say for example, if Rutgers is playing Nebraska this coming a weekend, and not just on campus in Nebraska, or you know, the state overall, if there are outbreaks, you know, at Rutgers has the option to actually cancel that game. So I think uh, the answer to your question, I think we're gonna see a, you know, a season. If you look at the rest of college football, we've already seen, you know, about a dozen cancellations on you know, other conferences. So I, I don't think it'll be any different in Big Ten. Very quickly, in about 30 seconds, what about us, the fans? Can we go? Can we go and watch these games in person? That will not happen. Uh, the Big Ten, in, in an effort to, to be as equitable as possible, Rutgers had already said that they were going to abide by New Jersey's um, uh, executive order of um, prohibiting of, – of, um, capping the, the number of people for an outdoor gathering at 500. Uh, Ohio State, Nebraska, a number of schools had said, said that they were going to try to get as many as 20 to 30,000 fans in games. Big Ten said, no, that won't happen. They're going to try to keep it, um, you know, there won't be any fans uh, attending games this season. Keith Sargent, NJ Advanced Media, thank you so much. Thank you.